love for new national marketing director, Jessica Potterton, with her upline, Dwayne McCarthy. Well, here's to the hearts that you're going to break. Here's to the lives that you're going to change. Here's to the infinite possible ways to love you. I want you to have it. Here's to the good times we're going to have. You don't need money, got a free pass. Here's to the fact that I'd be sad without you. I want you to have it. At moments like this, you realize how important legacy is. And I am so grateful that today, my greatest legacy can be right here with me on this very stage. These are my two beautiful daughters, Lexi and Lindsay. They have been on this journey with me and on this mission with me from day one. And so today, as we share our journey with you, I'd like to do it as an open letter to my girls. I've written down the most important lessons that I've learned. And the things that I want them to remember are most important in life. And I hope you too can glean a little wisdom from this as well. So girls, you can come up here a little bit. You don't have to stand so far away. <laughs> there you go. I'm sure you remember when you were little, four and six to be exact. And we were getting sick an awful lot, maybe not eating so healthy. Well, I just want you to know how proud I am of you today. And I'm so proud of the healthy choices that you're making. I'm so proud that since we started eating Juice Plus and leading a healthier lifestyle, that you girls are strong and thriving in your health now. You're both amazing athletes. You're eating salads and packing fruits and veggies in your lunch. And I'm just so proud of all these choices and to think I almost missed out on this opportunity that opened all those doors for us. So that leads me to the first lesson. Sometimes really awesome opportunities come and we don't realize it at first. Mrs. DeLuca had told me about Juice Plus and invited me to so many really, really cool events and I never took the time to stop and listen. It wasn't until one of my doctors recommended I look into it that I took it seriously and I then couldn't get a hold of Mrs. DeLuca fast enough to figure out more about it and how quickly we could get it into us. You see, girls, the deeper lesson here is that I learned that it's never too late to say that we made a mistake and turn our decisions around to make a better choice. Never be afraid to say I'm sorry, admit our wrong, and move forward toward making it right. I will always be grateful to Mrs. DeLuca. She never gave up on us. She was loving and patiently persistent because she knew she had something that could help us. The second lesson comes from a bit of a funny story. So in January of 2012, I was just starting out in this business and I wrote a letter to Mr. Jeff Roberti. He's been an incredible mentor to our, myself and to our team and in that letter, I told him that we were going to be a national marketing director standing on this very stage in a matter of two years. Well, <laughs> it took us seven years, but here we are today. <laughs> Little did I know that when I wrote that letter, I had a long way to grow before I could become the person that I needed to be to earn the title of national marketing director. I looked back at that letter recently and I just started to laugh because I really had so much to learn. The lesson that I learned from writing that letter is that when you set your intention on something and you do not let anybody tell you that it cannot be done, you keep your focus and keep a positive mindset, you can certainly accomplish what you set out to achieve. We have made dream boards together and we've seen time and time again that we had to change those things on the dream boards because they've already been accomplished. So I want you to always remember to keep your eyes focused on where you want to go, never give up on your dreams. And don't let anyone ever tell you that you can't achieve them. Stay strong. Keep your faith in God as he is with you always, especially when obstacles get in your way. And know that he is right by your side. And with him, anything is possible. Yeah. 
The next lesson, you guys have watched me learn the hard way. So remember that time, <laughs> Lexi remembers, <laughs> when I broke both arms and our dog, Lucas, got sprayed by a skunk. Or even as recent as the car accident this year, dealing with concussions and broken bones. Well, at times like those, I need to learn to ask for and accept help, which has always been hard for mom. But even the strongest moms need to ask for help. When you do, amazing things can happen, and so many people stepped in to help us. I remember you, Lindsay, when you said, wow, mom, your friends really love us a lot, don't they? You remember that? We need to give other people that chance to have that helpers high. We don't always need to be strong. We don't, it's okay to ask for help. And that was a really tough lesson for me to learn. When you ask for help, know what you need and be specific in asking. Do not expect people to be mind readers. I heard once that the Chinese symbol for crisis is made up of two symbols, danger and opportunity. It's a good reminder to look for the opportunity as you face your challenges. And if you fall down seven times, get up eight, right? So the final lesson I want you to know is that sometimes the things that I needed to do to grow to become the person that I am today made me really scared and nervous. Like the day Mrs. Cornelius and I were going out to talk to people about our tower gardens. I was trying really hard to be teachable but sharing that day had me so far outside my comfort zone. I actually remember saying to her, I would rather vomit or have someone drop in front of me and have to do CPR on them than to go do what we needed to do. <laughs> but it's at those times where I had my greatest growth and I realized this isn't so scary at all. And you know what? It started to make a huge difference in our business. So you know that feeling you get when you get those butterflies in your stomach and you're kind of nervous and excited all at once? Well, I learned that when you're feeling that, something really great is probably about to happen. It only takes 20 seconds of courage to push through. Take that first step for what you need to do. And when you're reaching for something that's gonna make you a greater person and a bigger person, you just have to be bold, be brave, and speak up. Take that 20 seconds of courage and take that leap because if you don't jump, you will never know what you can achieve. So in closing, I want you to look right down here at all these people that are here for us. I want you to remember to choose carefully the people that you surround yourself with. You wanna be with remarkable people who lift you up, who challenge you to become your better self, who show up for you who support you no matter what, and who are your greatest cheerleaders. Choose wisely who you spend your time with because when you do and you make those best choices, just look, look girls, look what can happen. Look at this love and support right here and all those people that are supporting us at home and doing amazing things for us at home. We are an NMD team, Team Freedom. <laughs> this right here is pure joy and I want you and I want you to feel this joy and create your own legacy. I want you to have it all. I love you. Thank you. Well, here's to the hearts that you're gonna break. Here's to the lives that you're gonna change. Here's to the infinite possible ways to love you. I want you to have it. Here's to the good times we're gonna have. You don't need money, you got a free pass. You. I want you to have it all